The snowboarder Julia Jumovic comes from the Austrian lowlands, and yet she's learned how to tame the mountains, becoming Olympic and Universiade champion last year. Right now, the MBA student in coaching and training is preparing to defend her Universiade title. Her destination? Granada, the stage for the alpine competitions that'll take place in February. There's no special preparations for the Universiad because the event is in the middle of the World Cup season. So I'm really ready and prepared as I am for the World Championships or a, a complete World Cup season. Julia won last year at the Trentino Universiad, but it wasn't easy in the parallel giant slalom. The competitors had to face bad weather conditions, but it was important for her to win and give her a boost for the Olympic competition two months later. I think it was the will to win 100%. Of course, that's always the case at every race. But I was angry that I had to drop out at the last Winter University Games after the first round. So I thought, OK, I'm only going to go to win this time. If I can't win, I might as well stay at home. And you know, I think that was the key to my success. Born and raised in Zulz, in the lowland region of Burgenland, no one would have thought that a hometown situated just 220 meters above sea level would produce a champion like her. She was just five years old when the story began. It started with a snowboard holiday with my brothers who were both snowboarders. And once I was stuck for a whole hour in the snow. But you know, that was a lot of fun for me, in fact. And so my passion for snowboarding started right there. And after that, I didn't want to do anything else except this. November the 11th, 2000. Julia was 13, training with her regional group at Caprun. She was about to take the funicular railway, but her brother decided on the gondola, a decision which saved her life. 155 people died in the fire on the funicular, including all her friends. Everything changes in life when something like that happens. Of course, you're trying to understand what happened. First of all, I didn't want to snowboard anymore because I had too many memories linked to it. But finally, it was this sport that helped me to overcome everything and to see the fun in snowboarding once again. But overcoming the shock, the anger, the pain was far from easy. It was very difficult because the team had disappeared. But I never lost the dream of becoming a top-level athlete. And then that dream became real goals. Two years later, Julia became a professional snowboarder. 2003 saw her first World Cup experiences, but serious injury sidelined her from much of the action. It was the first in a long line of setbacks. The time before Vancouver really wasn't easy because I was injured nearly the whole time. But during that period, I learned a lot about myself and I worked on myself constantly. And especially in the physical preparation part, I made some changes. Her injuries forced her to miss the 2010 Olympics, but Jumovic transformed her painful experiences into positive energy. And since then, her personal coach, Peter Eichberger, has improved her physical preparation. What's so special about her is her professionalism, the will to train, to execute, to plan, and to work hard in training. That's her main characteristic. She has a motto nowadays, if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. Maui is a favorite spot for her to train for two months every summer. Hawaii is a special place for me because there's so much energy there. At every time I'm there, I get so much power back from it. And how it's worked for her. Silver at the 2013 World Championships at Stoneham in Canada. Success on the World Cup trail, and then the Winter Universiade in Trentino, and two months later, on to Sochi, and Olympic gold in the parallel slalom. I was really focused on myself, 
I'd written on my glove, focus and line. Those two words that I think I've repeated to myself thousands of times. And so, after so many tough times to deal with, last season was sensational for her, and she hopes that she can carry that magic into the Universiade in Granada. I know it's not going to be easy to win, but I have to go there with my attitude, with my goal, to win it. Today's stars, tomorrow's leaders. When education meets sport and culture. What best promotes excellence in mind and body? Where do friendship, integrity, and achievement meet? Which event gathers the best student-athletes from around the world? The Universiade, the home of international university sports. Today's stars, tomorrow's leaders.